there's been a holding pattern that's basically accounted for some 22 minutes yes. of flying, yes. which would take it off the previous endpoint. Just the distance it could go south. And this is all according to Whisper. Yes. Only the plane's flight recorder will tell us if MH370 did go into a holding pattern. What do you think going on for those 22 minutes? Possible negotiation uh, between um, maybe someone on the ground acting in concert with um, the um, with Captain Sahari, who I believe was responsible. And I think you've got to take into account that uh, his political hero, Anwar Ibrahim, was uh, locked up five hours before they left. Uh, if I had to speculate, I would say there's a negotiation going on there. You have a new election, you resign, telling the maybe uh, Najib that he needs, needs to resign. So that's, that's a possibility. The data points on the Whisper technology that's come through shows that there was a 22-minute holding pattern that was undertaken by the plane. How did you react to that? It was um, overwhelming, really, because what were they doing in that 22 minutes? And was there negotiations with the pilot? We should be told about it. We should know in those 22 minutes. Were the passengers even alive then? Maybe they were, maybe they weren't. Who knows, was there a, an onboard fight with the, you know, the pilots and the passengers? You know, was it another September 11th? I don't know, but 22 minutes is a long time to be going around in circles. He must have been talking with someone. It's just a complete cover up. If that holding pattern was not there, let's say, the plane most likely would have flown for